Hello everyone, I am Professor Vaibhav Dirle from KKWA College of Agriculture Business Management, Nasi. Today we discuss on SWOT analysis of agro-processing industries in India. Now what is mean by SWOT? SWOT means S means strength, W means weakness, O means opportunity and T means threat. First one, we discuss strength of agro-based industries in India. First strength is huge natural resources in India. The climatic situation are too much better than other countries. That means in India, one of the versatile countries in world where number of huge natural resources are available. Each natural resource is providing a potential to establish an agro-based industry. It related to undertake economy activity in rural area. Second, suitable geographical condition for agricultural production. Geographical condition in India for agricultural production where as huge agricultural production is possible. That means any of the crops are grown because of climatic condition. Agro-based industries are mainly depend on the agricultural output. So it is on the important strength of agro-based industry as far its development is considered. Next strength is availability of raw material. For the agro-based industry, raw material availability is availability of raw material is too much better. In India, being produce huge agricultural products which become the raw material for agro-based industry, it motivates the people to undertake any enterprises. Next strength is ability to export. Agro-based industry is also able to export its products in the international market like sugar, cashew, kernel, etc. Agro-based industry can acquire a valuable foreign exchange which will strengthen national economy. Next trend is strong traditional knowledge. Agro-based industry has a strong traditional knowledge which is a periodic uh, peroc percolated from the generation to generation which is providing input to the expertise in manufacturing like artans industries, textile industries, cashew industries, handicraft industries etc. Next trend is additional employment generation. In agro-based industry in India, the employment generation are too much greater as compared to other uh, industries. It helps to reduce the poverty by providing the income source for livelihood. Next one, weaknesses of agro-based industry. First weakness is a lack of infrastructure facility. In India, the development process of any industry infrastructure is the important element which is necessary to be considered consequently. In case of agro-based industry, infrastructure is not adequate like road, transportation, bank, steady communication. Second weakness, low quality of raw material. Industry requires good quality of raw material input to make its quality product, but low quality of raw material is available in a local market. Because in some case, agricultural output of high quality is exported. Next one, complex export procedure. The export procedure is a very complicated complicated it requires more time that may create problems for this industry it requires to complete it different types for, of formality it requires more time and effort for them and next one political interference in rural agro-based cooperatives 
are under influence of politics interference and political leaders interference the important decisions of such organizations in three vested interests it creates hurdle in the growth of agro based industry then next weakness lack of finance in india the area where no three tier banking system is situated here the industries are facing problem to getting a finance next weakness lack of professional management in india rural industry may not have professional expertise it is very difficult to utilize pooled resources of the organization properly so as to achieve the objectives of the company next one traditional approach the indian agro based industries are run with conventional approach like conventional methods of production processing planning pro policies management marketing the outgoing approach increase cost of production of a agro based industry next weakness is lack of modern technology in india the most of the people are doing the traditional farming they don't use the innovative technology the use of technology increases the production capacity of the company which the low cost and time the cost of modern technology is very high it is not affordable to small scale farmer so unavailability of modern technology it become the weaknesses of the industry next one the opportunities of agro based industry first an important opportunity is increasing market span the local market is available for the agro based industry but at present market span for agro based industry has increased it is not necessary a uh, agro based industry is depend only to the local market it can be move outside the market increasing market span creating huge opportunity for the agro based industry in india the market span is too much too much long then export the agro based industries is able to export his product to the international market like cashew kernel sugar cloth milk products these are creating a big opportunity for the export then value addition the rural industries can make value addition product like pro- reprocessing of milk reprocessing of sugar reprocessing of cashew that means the value added products are too much in a rank then entrepreneurship development the industry is belonging to the rural area of the country the success of the industry boost uh, to the new people to establish the new industries in the rural area then more employment generation the agro based industries can able to create more employment generation in the rural area this may also consider as one of the opportunity for the industry next one proper utilization of natural resources the indian agro based industries is entirely depend on the agricultural resources india is very rich with their huge natural resources to utilize proper natural resources is a big opportunity for the agro based industries in india then threats of agro based industries first threat is global competition the agro based industry are facing no a global competition it is very difficult to agro based industries to run business in the high competitive area with a low profile because of small capital and small small capital in a remote area 
then unorganized market in india very difficult to found well organized market for agro based industry product good market is necessary for the how appropriate price for the final product the problem of marketing is considered one of the important threats for the industry next one bad trade bad trade practices in order to maintain the sustainable development of any industry good trade practices are necessary in case of agro based industry lack of good trade practices like quality of product wet packaging are create problems of this industry then price fluctuation because of the price fluctuation it is very difficult to maintain a pricing strategy uh, sometimes the company may have loss these losses are agro based industry could not bear therefore the decreasing the level of agro based industry then political bias the big agro based industries are somehow political bias interfering the major decision on the company which which is not good for the agro based industry for acquiring the predetermined goal the huge cost of modern technology the modern technology is always high it is very difficult to purchase this machinery for a small organization in india the high cost of machinery is creating threat for agro based industry thank you friends for watching the bye video thank you we meet as soon